All right, everyone. So this is absolutely something that we've got to talk about now. And I didn't think I would be making this video so soon, but it turns out that we are actually getting Final Boss Merlin and Red Escanor in just a few days here. So man, oh man, the pace of the game has been absolutely crazy. And the fact that we're getting Red Escanor already has opened up a lot of questions. And people are wondering now, especially considering that he is a coin shop unit, what to do about his banner. Now we've already seen in the global version of the game that they've been releasing coin shop units in regular banners first before adding them to the coin shop. So now there's kind of two sides to the scale of do you summon on his banner right away and get him early or do you wait until he's added to the coin shop? And I wanted to give you guys some information here to help you answer that question and it's really going to depend on three things. Number one is what point of the game are you actually at right now? Have you been playing for a while or are you a newer player? Number two is what are your goals in the game? Are you more PvP focused or are you more PvE focused? And number three is quite simply, are you a spending player or are you free to play? And let's look at one side of the scale first, which is the side of the scale to actually wait, not pull on his banner when it comes out and wait until he's available in the coin shop. Now, it's important to note that we still had that, you know, I don't know if drama is the right word, but the misunderstanding when Green Bond came out is that a lot of people thought that the global coin shop and units would function exactly the same as JP and Netmarble even had to come out and clarify that that's not the case and things will be done a bit differently and we've seen that we've seen that especially with the pace of the game and how fast things have been moving but this could mean that it might be a little while before we actually see red escanor in the coin shop so those of you guys who are going to be patient and skip out on his banner just keep in mind that i'm guessing it's probably going to be a two-week banner and then it might be even another two weeks before we actually see him added to the coin shop and then when he does get added to the coin shop my guess would also be that he is going to not get added to the discount section he's probably going to be for seven coins for a while before finally you're going to actually see him on discount so you know if you do save coins you have to also make that decision of whether you want to save up five coins and be extremely patient or whether you're going to save up an extra two coins seven coins and get him right when he is available in the actual coin shop so now if you are free to play though here's the thing right is if you're free to play and you're really limited on gems especially with the pace that the game has been going um it's just really unreasonable to summon on every single banner and and try to get all the units it's just not happening it's probably not going to happen in the future because who knows where the game is going to be in the next month or so with the pace that things have been going now and as a free to play player with limited gems you probably do want to save your gems for units that are more like blue lilia where they're not going to be in the coin shop and it might also be a long time before you have another opportunity to end up getting her now she will be available in the future but she's not going to be right up and you know if you don't get lucky, then you might not get her again, and it just could be a while. And Red Escanor is not really one of those units, as if you don't actually summon on his banner, he will be available later on, and he will be in the coin shop. So limited on gems, or you have a low number of gems, and you don't plan on buying gems anytime soon, I would stick to the side of the scale where you actually wait until he is out in the coin shop. Now let's look at the other side, which is summon on his banner right away. And this is really going to be mostly for competitive players, people who are extremely PvP focused, and people who want to just make sure that they have him right away, and people who want to stay on top of the crazy pace of the game. And I say that because by the time that Red Escanor is actually available in the coin shop, who knows what point in the game we're going to be, right? Is Red Escanor still going to be at the absolute top? by the time that you can get him for five coins i don't really know the answer to that maybe they'll slow things down a little bit but at the current pace and the number of weeks that it takes for that to happen we could be at a completely different point in the game by then so that's something you just kind of have to accept and realize um, if you're one of the people who's going to be patient not summon on his banner and save up the coins to get him from the coin shop now if you're competitive if you're really into pvp you want to be you know super meta and make sure that you get him right away when he's super useful he's gonna obviously counter all the valenti stuff that's going on a lot of the anti peer stuff that's going on um you know then obviously you're probably going to want to summon on his banner right when it comes out now, something that I wanted to add to this discussion that I don't actually know the answer yet, and I won't know until the night before the update, is what else is his banner actually going to include? I think I'm going to be a little bit more leaning towards the side of the scale to summon on his banner if, like, Green Escanor also has a rate up on this banner, if they're both, like, half a percent or something like that. I'm not too sure... 
you know, those of you guys might have a little bit better insight on what you think this banner is going to be. But, you know, if you don't have your green Escanor or you don't have, you know, you want to get green Escanor maxed out and you still need a lot of copies, you know, if green Escanor also has a rate up on this banner, then that's going to be more incentive for me to move myself to the side of the scale where I'm going to pull. And I will say that I didn't pull on the Red King banner. I didn't pull on the Melasculus banner. Uh, I think I am going to pull on this banner. I've got the gem saved up. I don't think I'm going to max him out from this banner, but saving myself having to wait all those weeks, I've been really behind on the meta lately. Uh, I just, you know, I, I didn't feel like summoning for Red King. There was a lot of stuff going on, and uh, I think this is probably going to be the banner that even though it's a completely reasonable option to wait until he's out in the coin shop, um, especially if green Escanor is included, maybe some other goodies or other, you know, rate ups. Uh, this is going to be the one that I'm going to probably put at least a couple hundred gems into, depending on my luck and my RNG. So, um, let me know what you guys are going to do, what your plans are, and what you guys think about all of this craziness that's going on in the game right now. What do you guys think about the pace of the game as well? It seems like it's just been crazy, like crazy, crazy. But anyway, that's going to be it for the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you did and you want more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. Feel free to leave a quick like as well. It means more than you can imagine. So thank you so much to all of you who decide to do that. And more Grand Cross Global videos should be popping up on the screen right about now. Feel free to check them out. But if not, until next time, take care, everyone. And this is Salt of the Salty Guild, signing out.